welcome to our biggest episode yet. Just supervising, someone's got to be the boss. Notice that Lane's 80's got a little bit of cool and leaking. Your heart's inside. Hey legends, Matt from Explore here. Welcome to our biggest episode yet. Over the next couple episodes, we'll be taking you from the Daintree Village, through the Kreb, the old telly track, and all the way to the tip of Australia. Of course, along for the adventure, I've got Lane and Racco from Track About Campers, Simon and Cam from Custom Off Road, legendary Navi Berkey. Can't wait, let's get into it. Here we go, the legendary Kreb track. This is my third time up to Cape York. Believe it or not, this is the first time it's been open. To say I'm a little bit excited is a massive understatement. I can't wait for this one. steep hill, um, almost made it to the top but we found a bit of a section there that lifts up a bit too much so Matty here is going to snatch this out we'll be on to find the next one. Right, oh well Bates has given me this one to try out. I don't know if I'm sold yet, I really like the old T shackle but I'll give it a go. Fallen tree on the track. Lucky the boys in front have got it covered. Good on you, fellas. Just supervising. Someone's got to be the boss. <laughs> <laughs> We've had an absolutely epic morning on the Kreb track. We've got a beautiful little uh, Hilda's Creek behind us. Pull up for a bit of lunch and um, see what the Kreb track's got to throw at us this afternoon. Oh, here we go. We don't have the luxury set up like the other guys, so we just get our barbecue chip and coals and our bread and coleslaw and away we go. <laughs> Loving it. It's taken me eight years to have a crack at this track and it's been well worth the wait. They weren't wrong, they said it was extremely steep, extremely slippery, bloody muddy and a whole heap of fun and they've absolutely nailed it. Every time you think you're at the top of the grab, you turn a corner and there's another massive incline. This track is turning into one of my all-time favourites.
one thing you want at the end of a massive hill climb, it's a good lookout. And the Kreb track does not disappoint. It is absolutely amazing how much height we've managed to cover in such a short period of time. So this is one specky spot. Done and dusted. What an epic day. The Kreb track has turned it on. Now look, I don't think this is an ideal track for beginners, but if you're thinking about giving it a go, make sure you check in with the local council for weather conditions and to see if it's open or closed. I recommend a well set up vehicle and all the correct recovery gear is an absolute must. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, five weeks ago yesterday, we were sat up just south of Bundy, having a few too many beers, and we decided we'd go to Cape York. And we're now sitting in the Lion's Den Hotel. We're having a cold beer. We've got food on the way. If there's one bit of advice I can give you, it's you don't need 12 months to plan a trip to Cape York. Get a group of blokes together, set a date, jump in your trucks, and get up here. We've, uh, we've had five weeks of planning. I, I uh, had a heap of work done to my car, packed it on the Friday night, and we left Saturday. So get off your ass, get up here, come and check it out. Well, boys, how's the heads? Not too bad, mate. Not too bad? That's all right. Um, all right, we've got a pretty big day. So uh, we'll leave the lion's den this morning, head up to Cooktown, uh, last minute stock up. Um, and then from there, I think we'll try and push out to Ellen Beach, have a bit of a squeeze out there. Sorry? Ellen Beach is pretty specky, it's sort of like the coloured sands at, at, at DI. Yeah, um, old Eddie owns that place up there, so we'll have a look at that. And from there we'll try and push up to almost Bramwell and then... Awesome, can't wait to see it. Yep, yeah, alright, I reckon we need to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you want to see up here, eh? Is it, like, Right, so we're just about to leave the lion's den this morning and we've noticed that Lane's 80's got a little bit of coolant leaking. Um, we're just going to drop this bottom bash plate off. Hopefully it's as simple as uh, tightening up his bottom hose and not a split tank, so fingers crossed. It looks like that bottom hose could have been a little bit loose, so we've tightened that up. We've got 30 k's to cook down, we're just going to monitor it uh, on the way. Hopefully that's all it was. Let's go. That was the uh, world famous Mines Den Hotel. Definitely uh, one of the top 50 country pubs in Australia. Those beers tasted pretty sweet last night after, what was that, 12 hour day? Hey mate, by the writing on all the walls, a few people have been there now. Yeah, the beers definitely taste better after a big day on the road. Well, we got another monster coming up, so let's get to Cook Town and punch out to Ellen Beach. Awesome, mate, I've heard a lot about it. Uh, we've just got to grab some fuel and we're uh, good to go. All right, well, we're just here at Cooktown. This is our last sort of civilization before we get up to Bamaga. Uh, last minute supplies, bread, milk, refuel, and um, we're on our way to the telly. All right, this is one detour you do not want to miss. When you rock up at the gate, make sure you go and say good day to my mate, Eddie. He's the Aboriginal landowner up this way, and he only charges $10 a night for camping. It's an absolute bargain and it will be better than any five-star hotel you've ever stayed in. When you're down, you're all brain messing you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're just down here at Ellen Beach. It's got to be one of my favorite sneaky little campsites up here. We're about 45 minutes outside of Cooktown. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have time to stay the night, but we are going to go for a quick drive down along the beach, show you guys the colored sands and uh, everything else it has to offer. I'm tripping on the dark side Yeah, yeah Dirty, dirty I feel so dirty Dark sky
right, you never know what you might find. Uh, cruising along the remote beaches of Cape York. We're up here about 10, 15 minutes up from Melbourne Beach and we've just found the uh, Australian kite surfing safari. Now, these little water tank style houses uh, house kite surfers for about three months of the year when it's blowing an absolute gale. In the off season, you're allowed to come up, rent the cabins, sleeps up to 12 people. It really is your own little slice of paradise away from everybody. Absolutely awesome. It doesn't matter how many times I come up here, I absolutely love the Cape York region. There's probably only one thing that you won't miss from up here, and it's the bloody corrugation. If there's one thing Cape York is not short of, it is history. There is plenty of old ruins and remains scattered throughout the whole Cape region. From old World War II planes to old stations, it's really impressive to see just how tough you guys did it back in the day. Enough gone? Smash up. We've got what first year at Bramwell. Oh, done. Great. Yeah. Don't believe what I say. <laughs> 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 Day three, we've got a big cook up going on this morning. We're a couple of k's out of Cohen. We're just camped on the riverbed here. Uh, beautiful little spot. Today we're going to head off, uh, head north, cut out and do the uh, Frenchman's track. So I haven't done that one in about eight years. These boys haven't done it before, so pretty keen to get stuck in. Kidding, mate? What's happened? Oh, it looks like the bolts have come out from all the corrugation, the right links. So. Yeah, I tell us. Yeah. <laughs> so. Right, keep going. Heavy corrugations really knocked the cars around. So we've got Simon over there. The side steps come apart. Our cars had a bit of an incident with the spotlights and a bit of engine trouble. So Let's see if we can sort it out. Uh, I might have done a turbo. I didn't check the spotties after doing corrugations, so both of them fell off the front. Here's a nice little tip, make sure you check all your shit. Credit to the ARB spotties, they both come off at 100 kilometers an hour down the road. And uh, got a few new bolts and they should be good to go. <laughs> now, the Frenchman's track is not the easiest to find. A little bit of spray paint on the tree is all you've got to go with. So, if you're coming up this way, I definitely recommend running some form of off-road maps. Personally, I'm running the HEMA app and it saves me a bucket load of time. I wouldn't come up this way without it. Frenchman's, what a track. Now look, it's not for everybody. It does feature two major water crossings, the Pasco and the Wenlock. It's got plenty of little technical sections with steep entries and exits. You've got to really pick your timing with this one. If the water levels are up, it's impassable. So if there's been a lot of rain, you might want to give it a skip.
fun. There's two different exits. One's uh, muddy and boggy as all hell, and the other one's powdery. So, so big powdery one. Powdery. Yeah, yeah. big one. Oh, where are my keys? Ah. Oh, f the f is. Did you zip tie here? No, they zip tied my keys. It was you, you prick. That was me, honestly. <laughs> definitely made that look a little bit too easy. There's definitely a reason they call them the magic buttons. The 76 is now twin locked and is doing the Frenchman's with ease. Hold it, hold it. Well, Lane's had a fair old crack, but uh... With the trailer out the back and no lockers, he's just lost traction. It's just all powder, so we'll run the winch out to the closest tree and get him up this hill. My man bag's very fashionable this season. We like to keep our D shackles, snatch traps, dampeners. You got your tampons? No, oh yeah, <laughs> this pocket over here. Oh, <laughs> bird! All right, so because Lane's got so much weight with the trailer sitting behind him, we're just gonna run a uh, winch pulley block. We'll run the tree trunk protector back to the front of his truck. Of course, always make sure you've got a winch dampener on and uh, you should pop straight over. Let's get into it. All right, well, Lane's had a bit of alternator trouble today and uh, he's just run out of juice in the worst possible location. Um, yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a think. <laughs> All right, yep. Hold that. Right up. So close, mate. After winching up that big step up, it was almost impossible to get traction in this powdery sand. A quick snatch should get the job done. So, uh, time to give the Mitzi a go. It showed all the cruises up so far, so see how it goes. That took uh, far longer than expected. <laughs> Thanks, Lane. No worries. Uh, that's all right. We'll, um, we'll try and get straight out to Bramwell Junction from here. Yeah. It's a little bit slow going. If not, we'll find somewhere nice on the track. Do you no reckon they'll sell alternators? Let's hope so. Let's <laughs> roll. Well, we've had a massive few days pushing up through Cape York. Preb track done and dusted, the Lion's Den and up through the Frenchman's. We've pulled in late again at uh, Bramwell Junction, but I tell you what, everyone's absolutely raring to go tomorrow morning to hit the old Telegraph track. So unfortunately, that's the end of this episode. Stay tuned next time when we take on the uh, old Telegraph track. <laughs>